Hello, how's it going? So tonight, I wanted to cover uh, Strum Session 2 by Applied Acoustic Systems, I believe it is. Let me just confirm that. Yes, I did get that right. <laughs> so, one of the things I've struggled with for the first year and a half here I've been playing around with music is I initially started playing around with synthesizer hardware synths. And I always wanted to add a guitar element to my songs, but I could never quite get it right. You know, I did some experimenting with distortion pe pedals and whatnot, which you can see example of here. But you know, I could never really get that real, genuine guitar sound, so when the Humble Bundle went around for one of these guys, I think it was one of their uh, sound bundles. It had uh, this drum session uh, VST included with it, so I jumped on it for I think it was like 22 Canadian dollars, and I've been I've been very happy of it. So I wanted to do a quick review for you guys about it. Alright, so one thing I like when I'm watching reviews myself is just a quick overview of the product itself. So, Strum Session is part of the Applied Acoustic Systems Session Bundle. Now, I got this through a hum Humble Bundle. I've also seen it, for example, added on with some synths, like the new Korg, I think, Mod Wave comes with this for free. So, I don't know if I'd go out and spend the 99 I'm believing that's American dollars on this. You probably can get this bundled with... Uh, you know, some other hardware somewhere else, or maybe through another bundle deal through a third-party site. But uh, uh, I would, I wouldn't uh, recommend buying this for a hundred bucks. I think there's probably cheaper ways to get it. But anyways, uh, what it comes with is uh, the Lounge Lizard, which is uh, uh, basically electric piano VST, which is I like as well. Maybe we'll get into that one day. Uh, the Strum Session, which I want to go over tonight, and the Ultra Analog Session, which is a, a analog uh, VST synth. Uh, which is fun too. I like I like all three of these. So if you get this bundle at a good price, I'd recommend it. <clears throat> but uh, tonight we're going to cover Strum Session. So it's almost, I won't call it a demo because I quite think it's complete for, for my needs of it. But before you go ahead and drop money on this, if you're looking for a specific uh, major or professional level VST for guitars, they do offer this Strum GS2. I don't have it, so I can't really review it. But before you drop a hundred bucks on this, if you're looking for just a kick-ass, you know, really professional uh, VST, I can't recommend it because I don't have it myself. But you may want to review the Strum GS2 before you drop money or, or buy something that has this uh, Strum Session bundle. Uh, it had basically, from what I can, uh, quick overview of the uh, GS2, uh, it has a bunch of different more presets and guitar types, and lets you dig into uh, has more effects. Um, so just just before you buy the strum session make sure you give it a breeze and if you guys know any other cheap guitar VSTs that I should check out myself or even free ones please please let me know because uh, I'd love to check them out really I stumbled across this strum session through that humble bundle and I've been using it since because it's been it's been fun to play around with but uh, if there's better ones out there do let me know but but you can see uh, like with the uh, strum session over here you don't get this uh, background effects button where you can go in and actually play around effects but I'm going to show you what I do for effects as I go through this review but before I jumped into actually looking at it and playing around with it I just wanted to give you that basic ground uh, there so the other thing I like when I'm watching review is just just some quick demos of it so I've gathered a couple of MIDI tracks of some different songs uh, Stranglehold, uh, Fantastic Voyage by Lakeside, uh, Money for Nothing. I'm just trying to find uh, songs that I like and then songs that are kind of classic, have gla classic guitar riffs in it and some more uh, David Bowie tracks that I that I like. Uh, and then I thought for the final thing, uh, what I would do is uh, Wish You Were Here from Pink Floyd, that pretty iconic uh, guitar part at the start. I, I, we're going to just plug it in and see what we can do with that for fun. But uh, the other songs I have all pre-made and ready to go as I was playing around on this. So this is uh, Stranglehold, which I hate playing because I'm a Canucks fan and I get uh, <laughs> uh, post-traumatic stress from all those uh, <laughs> Blackhawks playoff series of the 2000s, earlier 2000s. 
anyway, uh, let's hear what the uh, let's hear. So what have we got set up here? We got basically the strum session uh, uh, VST plugged into this part. I believe this part as well, and I'm using uh, the RYM2612, which is like a Sega Genesis uh, VST emulator for for its uh, YM2612 chip. I think it had in it, uh, it which is an FM synth for the uh, bass parts in this. And I'm using another v free VST uh, labs for the drum sounds, and then the for the lead kind of part here, I'm using the Ultra Analog Session, I, I, which is part of this uh, session package. Uh, so let's hear how that sounds, and then maybe we'll play around with some of the guitar parts on it. Well, that doesn't sound quite right there, but uh, forgive that part. <laughs> So pretty good, eh? So I am helping out the strum session a bit here. So I'm adding a chorus effect to it, which I'll disable here. And then the grittiness is coming from this uh, free distortion pedal VST. So let's try to add some distortion through this. So you can see. There's two banks of guitars, basically some acoustic guitars you can try out. And the presets are fun to jump around in to try to dial in a sound quick. And this is one I made myself when I was playing around with money for nothing. But let's see if we can just dial in a bunch of distortion here. So you can turn distortion off completely by disabling that, but of course we're going to want a bit of it. You can turn off the amp, but we'll keep the amp. You can control the levels of the drive and then how it affects the mid. Enable some bite. It's sounding pretty crappy now. Anyway, so you get the idea. So uh, we'll get in, let's go into another song. Uh, let's check out "Fantastic Voyage," which is a fun lakeside kind of funk. So once again, I find this works well for effects. Is comboing the this uh, uh, this Atari uh, June Six, which is basically a. Uh, um, a VST of the Juno uh, chorus effect and uh, this free distortion pedal. There's probably other distortion pedals out there. This was just the first free one I found and I was looking because I was playing around with the strum session VST. I'm like, man, it would really be great to plug a, plug some of this into a distortion pedal because yes, you can use the distortion within the session, but I like I like just using a separate VST effect to kind of control it. But let's once again, let's see what we can do. Let's let's just solo this part here, the guitar part. So I'm really getting that gritty sound using the distortion. Can I do it with just the distortion on here? just fine. <laughs> I 
I said, I just find it a bit easier to do with uh, the distortion pedal. So I like this chorus and uh, distortion pedal combo, the team up of it. Anyways, next song. What else do we got going on here? Money for Nothing. It's it's a pretty classic guitar rift. And once again, same uh, idea of grabbing an uh, electric guitar and throwing it on this, but I'm also using a bit of a... It's a delay to add a, a bit of a modulator to it. So like of any other guitar, you really need to add some effects to it to get a really cool sound out of it. And that's it's just a ridiculous sound. with that anymore okay let's hear a couple more demos here i think in teenage wildlife we are going to hear a bit of the uh of the uh acoustic guitar so once again and a little bit of reverb to this so we'll take that out of there then a little bit of a uh, delay echoey kind of thing to it, which will take off so you can just hear the basic acoustic guitar. Which sounds a little flat about the uh, reverb and the effect on it, but you get the idea. Here we can try. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I was trying to figure out how to do the vocals with uh, a synth, which we're just going to mute because it's pretty awful. No, no, don't just solo it. <laughs> you <it. laughs> So it's a nice little uh, VST for doing both uh, simple acoustic guitar uh, parts and also a little bit of electric guitar, so if you can get it cheap in a package, I think it's well worth it. its versatility, you know. You can see I'm using the uh, preset warm crunch for that uh, electric guitar part there. Once again, throwing in a little bit of a distortion, uh, the chorus effect, uh, modulator effect from this object delay, which is also from uh, Applied Acoustic uh, Systems. I got it in the uh, same uh, bundle, which is, I really like this thing. I gotta play around with it a bit, bit more to understand everything on it before uh, I do a review, but uh, spoiler alert, it's, it's really cool. And then adding a little bit of EQ to it. Alright. What do we do for Moon Age Daydream? What do we got going on? Yeah. So once again, using the Warm Crunch preset with the chorus and distortion uh, pairing that you've seen a lot so far. So definitely you can bring out a lot. You know, just just the. I think the lesson I wanted to demonstrate here is you can... You can get, so, like this is where I was struggling with the plugin first, I was just using the plugin uh, blind. And yes, you do have some effects, you got a compressor, a distortion, an amp, with, which you saw me play around as those settings, uh, tremolo effect and a reverb effect. Anyways, uh, but you can see, uh, when I first, like I said, when I first got it, I was, you know, it was cool and I could get half decent guitar sounds, but it wasn't really until I started throwing other additional effects that I really feel like I unlocked the true potential of this uh, a VST. So let's hear what we got going on here. We don't have much on the guitar until the end. <laughs> Thank you. 
And then, yeah, um, I, I think there's nothing really special going on here besides another just acoustic chord kind of strum going on. And this is once again where I'm just using uh, the VST naked with a little bit of EQ put on top of it. Let's see what it sounds like if I add in the uh, the chorus effect I use quite often. So buried and not mixed, you're not really going to hear much in there. It's mostly just background stuff going on there, anyways. Yeah, so hopefully that gives you an idea of, of some of the things it could do. But here, let's let's just uh, let's set it up here. So let's get rid of these program changes because sometimes they can mess around with uh, with the VSTs or presets on these, and I think it doesn't actually play nice with some of the with the strum session stuff. Let's let's give it a try once because before I get rid of the second one and now let's just split it off because we're not even doing anything there and now I can probably find the PC pretty quick alright so we'll take it off that one but here let's try it on this one before I go ahead and do anything let's add in the strum session there we go cool alright let's just see So it doesn't mess around with that, but I think it does definitely mess around with uh, the object delay plugin. Yeah, so you can see the program ch change will mess around with a program on the object delay, which I'm not sure if I'll use or not yet. But regardless, let's get rid of those program changes because they are gonna throw us for a loop if we use effects that don't like them uh, all right. cool I think we're ready to start playing I'm just gonna take away that one for now and we'll start here all right strum session Enough for now. Let's add in the second part.
Get our honky tonk ready in this one. drums put together. Yeah, so you can see how fast you can push just to pull this together with uh, just using some uh, MIDI tracks and get a nice bass line going here. Nope. So I hope that's a good demo. So overall, I'm very happy of it. But yeah, please uh, let me know if there's other good VSTs to check out for guitar sounds. I'd love, I'd love to know, just because it'd be good to have some other options. So maybe I'll do some research myself if none of you guys let me know. But uh, just wanted to show you uh, some of the things I've been doing with it and how to use it, what what it sounds like. Uh, so you can make that call yourself, whether to, if there's a cheap bundle for it out there or if it's bundled with an instrument and that uh, pushes you over the edge for picking it up, uh, it might be worthwhile. Um, and yeah, if you don't know how to play guitar and you can throw some uh, MIDI uh, tracks together yourself or, or grab famous parts and modify them to meet, meet them however you want to use them, uh, there you go. If you don't know how to play guitar like me, this might be an option to add it to uh, your music. So hopefully that helps. 
Uh, hopefully this was useful, and I uh, hope to see you next time. Thank you very much, guys, and we'll see you around.